afternoon, everybody. I'm really excited to be here uh, to talk about a homegrown Charlottesville company called Ample BioSolutions. I'm a double who went to get my PhD in Dallas, had my first faculty position at the NIH, and chose to come back to Charlottesville to found this company with Dr. Peter Lipsky. We're focused on precise, personalized medicine. And I'm here to talk to you today about how we use machine learning to improve healthcare. We're practically using this technology to bring a product to the market in 2022. The first disease is for lupus and it will help patients uh, predict their flares and identify best drug options with their physicians. So just uh, a little bit about us. We also have a team member, John Stacy, who grew up in Charlottesville and helps us with the business side, as well as Dr. Bill Ricketts, who has a lot of deep experience in diagnostics and bring this test to the market. And we've got a lot of partners around the country, including universities, UVA, Wake Forest, Duke, as well as a variety of companies. So we're immunologists and we're also focused on bioinformatics and machine learning. And we love the quote, culture is the organization's immune system. We're located off of the downtown mall in the Lewis and Clark building. And we have a hybrid work environment, especially in this day and age of remote work, as well as some people in the office. We're focused on team, passion, creativity, engagement, and our novel approaches to machine learning and AI and making precision medicine a reality using Ample's genomic platform, bioinformatic tools and machine learning AI algorithms. So photo of our team and we're currently recruiting. So if you're interested in machine learning and AI, precision medicine, immunology, we're recruiting at all levels and we welcome you sending us your resume. So your genes have a lot to tell you. And our algorithms platform and machine learning AI help to translate that. We're doing it first in lupus with a blood test called LuGene. And this and all of our technology can identify your genomic fingerprint to provide personalized precision medicine. So how do we do this? Well, the goal of personalized medicine is to deliver very specific information to a patient and their doctor with action items. In our case, what is the status of their disease, their immune system, inflammation, and what are good drug options? How do we do this? We've developed a platform with bioinformatic big data tools, with modeling and statistics, we're using genomic data or gene expression data, and we do correlations with information about the clinical status of a patient. And a lot of times this is generated from EHR or electronic health records. So what is machine learning? It's a field of computer science that gives the ability of learning to computers without them being explicitly told what to do and to design complex models and algorithms to lead to predictions. And these predictions can range from a statistical mathematical approach uh, to standard machine learning algorithms to deep learning and moving towards AI. And Ample's published 14 scientific papers since we started in 2013, three of them focused on machine learning and we span the depth of all of those different applications. So optimally, you're using machine learning when there's too much data for the human mind and standard mathematical approaches to make predictions. And machine learning produces reliable, repeatable decisions and results and uncovers hidden insights through relationships and trends in the data. So at its heart, it classifies objects, predicts new values, and it can extrapolate over time. So how is Ample doing this? How is the Ample team in Charlottesville and all over the U.S. doing this? Well, we're starting with lupus 
And the classic butterfly rash is often the first sign. It's a chronic autoimmune disease that mostly affects women and causes organ damage. And as I mentioned, we're developing a blood test that predicts flares and matches with the drug options. So a big problem really in all of medicine, except for some small areas of a cancer, is that therapeutic recommendations are often made with few evidence-based decision tools. And that's one of our goals. So we've designed a genomic platform, bioinformatic tools, and machine learning AI algorithms to support this genomic fingerprinting approach. And it's disease agnostic. Um, we got a lot of press back in June for our work in COVID-19. We have the paper in press and a collaboration with UVA to use this same technology to predict patients that will emerge with the most severe symptoms of COVID and what are good drug options. And we've also done a partnership with a company to confirm in lung cancer. So how do we do this? Well, currently people bring us data. So they've drawn the blood, they've done the RNA-seq or the microarray, and we use our genomic platform, bioinformatic tools and machine learning AI algorithms to give an answer. In the case of pharmaceutical companies to do patient stratification and suggest what are the best patients for a particular clinical trial of a drug. What we're aiming for in the future, and we're actually raising money to be able to do this and looking for investors, is to have an end-to-end -end solution where the blood can be drawn just like any other lab test, like a cholesterol test in the hospital or in a doctor's office, and a report is generated back to the physician and to the patient. So now I want to get into a little bit more detail about how we do this. The focus of my talk today is about bioinformatics and machine learning. So I wanna talk at a high level of what the approach, and then I'll get into some specifics in the scientific papers that we published. So the goal is to match groups of patients or individual patients with best drug option. And we do this by examining the genomic fingerprint of a patient here I'm showing using a heat map. Those of you with some bioinformatic BME background will recognize this. Where red means something is stronger and blue means something is weaker. In this case, I'm showing you from left to right, hundreds of patients and up and down showing you all of Ample's tools that generate the genomic fingerprint. We have a genomic platform that we built and specialized bioinformatic tools that can analyze all of the cell types that are in your blood. Think of your blood like a highway where cells are traveling in and out of tissues, getting different places. So by sampling the blood, you're getting a status of the whole immune system and the disease status of a patient. In addition, these bioinformatic tools have full genome coverage, can predict what the genes are telling the cell to do and what cells are actually performing the function. And we use machine learning and AI to make predictions for individual patients based on groups. So in this case, we can go from an individual patient or groups of patients identified by purple, green, or orange, all the way through looking at their gene expression, predicting their disease status and best drugs. The doctor and the patient will get a report where they'll get a snapshot. You see here when I'm showing you hundreds of patients, every up and down is one individual. So now I flipped it sideways to show what's really going on with the immune system of the patient and to relate that to what physicians use right now, which rheumatologists, which are the doctors that see lupus patients on a daily basis are using SLE day and suggesting good drug options for them. 
So now I'd like to spend a couple of minutes to get into the science. I've already showed you the heat map. Sorry, my allergies are acting up. Like to show you the heat map of all of the patients and using our machine learning algorithms to be able to subset into various groups. And I'm showing you the receiver operator curve to show you what the strength of our predictions. In addition, one of the big problems in lupus as well as in other diseases is that there are a lot of groups of patients there's a lot of heterogeneity. And here I'm showing you three different large patient samples from three different areas across this country and using bioinformatic analysis, comparing lupus to healthy individuals. And you can see that they look very different. If we look at the genes that are different between lupus and normals, only three are in common. But if we use machine learning AI algorithms, we can identify what the top 25 genes are. In this case, we use an algorithm called a random forest. We also just recently published a scientific paper where we were able to do machine learning to make predictions about what the cell types are and the functions of genes that are contributing to lupus in a variety of patient groups. And one thing I didn't mention before is that lupus primarily affects women, although men can get lupus, but you can get much more serious disease. And in addition, African-American and Hispanic populations often emerge with much more severe disease and they have different manifestations of the disease. So we published a paper this summer where we dug into that and showed that there were different cell types and were different functions that were contributing to that that would elucidate very specific personalized drug therapies. And we published a paper to dig into that. And that's what I'm showing you here. And also showing you the types of statistics that we use as outcomes and showing that we had very high specificity and sensitivity. So the bottom line is that machine learning is gaining traction in healthcare. We hear about it most of the time in cancer, but it, we're making a big difference in autoimmunity, especially in lupus. And applications have the potential to shape clinical care and science, and that what is what we're trying to do, bringing Lugene to the market as a clinical blood test for patients, but also has really accelerated basic science in drug discovery. Precision medicine workflows hard very large amounts of information to help clinicians make informed treatment decisions and improved outcomes for patients. And machine learning identifies very specific subsets of lupus patients. This can be very helpful if we're trying to predict patients that would emerge with kidney disease. That's a very important and severe form of lupus that often leads to dialysis or kidney transplants or to predict disease activity and best drug options. And Ample is bringing a blood test to the market, Lugene, to do just that. So Ample, your genes have a lot to tell you. We can translate. We identify your genomic fingerprint, providing precision personalized medicine. And with that, I'd like to thank you for your attention, your patience with me, with my voice, with my allergies. I'll be in the chat room and I'm also happy to take any questions right now. Thank you.